Said is dead. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Said is dead. Said's not dead. Said's the best dialogue tag. Don't fight, guys. It's gonna be okay. <sighs> oh, I got my little ridiculous farce out of the way. <laughs> dialogue tags. There's a lot of stress about them. They're not that hard. <laughs> The thing about dialogue tags is, said is dead is something that a lot of school teachers tell children because they want them to explore new and interesting dialogue tags. You cannot hold to said is dead. However, said is invisible is also a lie. Said is not invisible. There will always be readers. There's a boatload of neurodiverse people out there in the world who will pick up on every time you said said and will get annoyed at it if you say it too often. <laughs> and the thing is, not every piece of dialogue needs a dialogue tag. Hello and welcome to another episode of Deciphering Writing Advice where we're going to be talking about said is dead, said is not dead and how to do dialogue tags in general because oh my goodness does this sound like a nightmare confusing monstrosity. <laughs> The thing about dialogue is there's three ways to do it. You have your piece of dialogue, whatever quotation marks you use in your culture, you have your piece of dialogue inside your quotation marks. I just keep doing French ones and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> you have your piece of dialogue inside your quotation marks and you have to explain to the reader who it is who's doing the speaking. Sometimes they can gather from context. If there's two people having a conversation and you've said one person says something and you put it on the next line, that's obviously the second person and you can go for quite a while before you need to clarify and relocate the reader by telling them who's talking again. And there are three ways to tell a reader who is talking. Way number one, character name said. Way number two, character name Insert other dialogue tag here. Dialogue tag like murmured, shouted, cried, sniffed, exclaimed, blurted, asked, answered, questioned. There are lots of possible ones. And the third way to tell a reader who is speaking is using a thing called action blocking. Action blocking is where you describe what a character is doing and immediately follow that with dialogue. So it's all on the same line such and such a body did such and such a thing and then you do the dialogue. If you look into published books you will be able to find this mixture of dialogue tags. That is one of the reasons that people say that writers need to read voraciously is so that you can have the examples of things like that. For example, Mary Arlen Breaking the Curse, part one, like the first bit of chapter one, the first conversation that happens in the book. No, Commander Jonathan Whitclay said flatly. What do you mean, no? I snapped in response. You're not suitable for the position. He didn't even have the decency to look at me. Well, why the hell not? He sighed, finally looking up, leaning his elbows on the desk and steepling his fingers. Firstly, he began, your gender. The Brotherhood of Guardians does not accept women. Secondly, you appear to have difficulty with authority. That's discrimination, I spoke with Venom. What's wrong with having a female guardian? It's not like I'm going to... I stopped and frowned. What is it exactly that you think a woman would do to disrupt the Guardian? When he didn't immediately answer, I moved on to my next point. On the second count, I only argue when it proves necessary. Plenty of your Guardians have the same rule, only when they do it, you call that initiative. The answer is no, Miss Arlen. He looked back down at his file and picked up his pen. You're excused. I leaned forward, placing my hands on the desk. What if I could prove to you that I would make an excellent guardian? He glanced up just long enough to shoot me a flat look. There is no proof you could possibly show me which would change my mind at this juncture. Good day, Miss Arlen. So if we go through that sort of semi-piece by piece, you get, no, Commander Jonathan Wickley said flatly. Said flatly, said is not dead, it's the best dialogue tag, plus description, because... There's not really a better way of doing that, in my humble opinion. There's not really anything that you could use instead of said to get that same meaning across. 
What do you mean no? I snapped in response, which is an alternative dialogue tag which falls into the said is dead category. You are not suitable for the position. He didn't even have the decency to look at me, which is a not a brilliant example of action blocking. So we'll just move on very quickly because there are better ones in here. <laughs> then we have, well, why the hell not? Which does not have a tag because there's no tag required in this moment because Mary's not really doing anything and it's quite clear who's speaking from context. He sighed, finally looking up, leaning his elbows on the desk and steepling his fingers, which is a better example of action blocking. Firstly, he began. So I've used a dialogue tag here, even though it isn't strictly necessary with the action blocking and the context, because I wanted to give the reader a chance to have that beat, that mental preparation moment. If you were watching it as a movie, he would sigh and lean his elbows on his desk and steeple his fingers and go, firstly, your gender. And the pause is what the he began is to create the feeling of. So if we look again at the entirety of, <laughs> if we look again at the entirety of that short exchange, it is, as you can see from all the purple, quite heavy on the action blocking. It is quite light on the said, it's quite light on the interaction without any form of tag or blocking. Um, this is not like a prime example of a a long conversation between two people where you can just like verbally spar and jump between the two of them, um, which you will find later in Mary Allen Breaking the Curse or plentifully in other pieces of literature. And as you can see, I do tend to prefer the alternative dialogue tags as shown by the green. So as you can see, I personally favor action blocking. I think it's the best way of having a conversation, especially if you've already, like early on in the conversation, especially if it's a short conversation, if you've early on kind of figured out and, what's the word, communicated to the reader that, like what tone of voice these people have. So like the first dialogue tags that you get in this section is, Commander Jonathan Wickler said flatly. And you sort of carry that through the rest of the conversation. He is flat voiced, flat toned for the entire conversation. He's maybe bored, he's maybe tired, he doesn't want to be having this conversation right now, as proven by the fact that he barely pays her any attention. Mary, on the other hand, snaps, speaks with venom, leans over his desk, all of this kind of stuff which puts her in this sort of aggressive position, as it were. Um, she is obviously unhappy with this turn of events and she wants him to react to that. I feel like all of that's pretty clear, um, I just wanted to use an example of action blocking and dialogue tags. I, as I said, I don't really like the term said because I don't think it communicates very much other than giving the reader a clue of who's speaking. It's a really great one for throwing in when you're just trying to locate the reader, like you've been having a conversation or a conversation has been interrupted by a thought process or a big huge piece of like action blocking or like set shifting just throwing in a said there as that like, oh, by the way, it's still Commander Wickley speaking. Um, or, oh, by the way, it's Commander Wickley speaking now is a really great use of the word said, but a lot of the time you do want to be using action blocking and more descriptive dialogue tags instead of said. The reason that people fight against the idea of said is dead, which I didn't say when I first filmed the video and I am now saying in my voiceover, almighty glory, um, the reason that people kind of rebut the idea of said is dead with said is the best dialogue tag is because otherwise you end up with an exchange that is, it comes across very juvenile and a little annoying because you are constantly listing these different dialogue tags and that is another part of the reason that I think action blocking is the best choice 90% of the time because if your characters are doing a thing it still gives the reader clarity as to who's saying what without having to go into much of the <laughs> much of the the tags and the descriptions of how they're doing the talking. Like you can get across a lot of emotion through action in a 
in an action block in a way that you kind of can't if you're just using dialog tags. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, if you have any other advice for said is dead or said is not dead or action blocking, please do let me know in the comments. Uh, we'd love to foster an environment where we just educate people all around. Uh, say we, we is just me and cinnamon bun, I guess. Uh, <laughs> my book, Mary Allen Breaking the Curse, I just read that excerpt from, is an adult fantasy novel with action adventure, heapings of magic, and a delightful slow burn heartwarming romance. It's available for pre-order. It's got a all of the links for it are listed below, including my website, which will give you the most detail about Mary Arlen breaking the curse, how it works, what it's about, all of that jazz, all that good stuff. Uh, <laughs> if you want, all of the links to find me everywhere on the internet are also down there, including my Instagram and my mailing list, and of course, my coffee account if you want to help support the channel. If you want to see more deciphering writing advice, there's a playlist. Um, and if you want to see more from me, there's subscription and likey buttons as well. <laughs> There is no proof which you could possibly show me. Nope, that's not what it says.